everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. I actually can't even remember. I'm on my laptop now, so I'm gonna see. Oh, hi. Hi. So I'm gonna see what my last video was. Oh, hello. Oh, it was our camping adventure in the Lake District. Um, so yeah, about a month ago. Um, I thought I would do a video because basically I was supposed to be training for um, Finland challenge, are you okay there? Challenge Finland 70.3 and I couldn't get there because I wasn't double vaxxed and the quarantine situation there, I don't even know what it was. I didn't even attempt to do it. I had like nightmares of getting stuck there with COVID and it just wasn't worth it basically. So at the minute I'm kind of in that weird limbo where I actually don't have time to train for a race at the minute because the whole of September is traveling with work um, for work races. And so I can't train during that time either. So it's not even like I can do a race straight afterwards. <laughs> um, so I don't really know what to do. Though I keep forgetting that I did actually enter Hardmore's 80, as in 80 miles in November. And I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, but now I think I am. So maybe I should actually just start running loads. Um, but I kind of feel like I'm really on the triathlon hype, as in I'm not, I'm not fit, but I just, I'm really ready to go back to triathlon now. Um, I did, we've just been to Cornwall and I joined my friend Jess and Hannah's beginning of their taper for their Ironmans and it was still like a 15 hour week, which is the longest I've done in, I want to even say years now. Um, and I really enjoyed it and I've got like serious FOMO that I'm not racing. But anyway, there's going to be no races, I guess, in winter, is there? So it's whether I do like a really early season, like a Dubai 7.3 or something in January, but then it's training through the winter. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but this, I thought I'd film because I'm in this limbo. You can help me decide what what races I'm going to do. And also I've got some quite cool things. So on, well, this isn't cool, but... Um, since my last ultra, which I didn't film, which told you about the Hardmore's Hardwards 40, where I did 47 miles, um, I didn't feel injured during it, but like now every time I run, totally fine running, and then I finish running and I have a sore knee. And I can't even pinpoint where it's sore. It's just like the whole knee is sore. Um, but like not really bad like it doesn't affect my walking and it's literally if i've just had my knee bent and then it goes away but i still feel like you should like nip these things in the bud very early shouldn't you Ragna? that's yes so i'm gonna go see aiden who's known as the irish vizier on instagram and on monday night so i'll take you there with me see what he has to say and then on wednesday night i'm going to get what am i gonna get done i'm gonna get metabolic testing i think let me check my DMs of what I've signed myself up for because I can't quite remember. Um, and again, I'm not, I, I don't even know what it is, but I got invited to it. Um, and I figure if it's going to tell me some something that might be helpful or like how unfit I am, what is it? Let me see. It's an exercise physiologist. And it's VO2 and metabolic testing. So yeah, wish me luck with that because I'm very unfit at the moment. Um, ah, 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 let's not chew furniture, honestly. Um, so yeah, that's me. We are going home to Yorkshire for the weekend because Rory's gonna be there. So me and Ragnar are going on the train. It'll be his first tube experience, his first long train, um, two and a half hours. God help me with this little terror. Currently trying to chew the furniture. He's so cute, but he's so naughty. Um, so yeah, thought I would take you with me because I'm well overdue a vlog. <laughs> I am here at the Human Performance Lab and I have just had done my... Resting metabolic rate. Resting metabolic rate, um, which was super interesting. So actually, I'm gonna get hopefully all the information at the end of it, but basically my, what it would normally predict as my like, calories of not doing anything, chilling, um, it actually came up lower. So if you just put it in like a MyFitnessPal, um, what it said was not accurate. And this came up basically saying I can eat more, which is always a good thing. Um, and now I'm about to get done. A VO2 max test. A 
VO2 max test, which yeah. I'm a bit nervous about. Um, so we're basically putting the speed up every... So it's a one minute incremental set test. Okay, so every minute we'll increase the speed by one kilometer per hour. And it's basically to the point where you decide that you can't go any further. Um, so yeah, so we'll see, see how you go. Yeah, let's see if my track session's been paying off. Great stuff. 16 kilometers an hour. Come on, keep going, push hard. Great work, Emily. Keep it going, keep it going. Push, 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 push. So I've just been for a run, which is irrelevant really, but I'm just letting you know why I'm a bit sweaty and just like this. Um, but anyway, so yeah, last night I went, obviously went for my testing and you saw bits of it. So I had my metabolic rate tested, um, which I obviously give you like a rubbish brief. I always get really embarrassed vlogging in front of people, um, description of. Um, so it basically told me like what my like resting um, energy expenditure is in terms of like calories and macronutrients and stuff um, and it's really interesting because like if if you put all my like details height weight and stuff in like a my fitness pile for example that actually came up saying I burn like 200 less than I actually do um, which is obviously really good to know if you're training for something because you don't want to under eat or over eat or whatever especially if like the goal is weight gain or weight loss blah 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 um, and also then when we had the um uh, VO2 max testing and stuff it also then told you like which energy systems you use and like which macronutrients and I'm very carb dependent so I'm gonna actually have my follow-up consultation with Richard on zoom to go through the data but like the takeaway points that I've already had was like on my like easier days I could cut down on the carbs a bit um, and be a, a lot higher protein and a bit higher fat um, which is not an issue um though today I like tried it and I actually tracked I weighed myself this morning he told me that I should maybe do that you know like consistently just to get a gauge of what my like general weight is um and then and I so I tracked my calories today and my macronutrients most importantly and I basically realized that most of my carbs that I was referring to come from fruit like I worked out and I probably eat five portions of fruit a day different portions so I have like blueberries and banana in my breakfast then I have like grapes I always have watermelon and I always have an apple which is quite excessive and by like afternoon I have a real crash like I depend on caffeine which that probably won't change but I really do like crave sugar and and I always take it in the form of fruit so today I basically limited myself to one piece of fruit which was an apple with my lunch and I honestly felt so much better this afternoon. So I actually might stick to this and just see how that goes. Um, I, I actually didn't even really know what I was going to get done. So it's not like this is a goal of mine or whatever at the minute. But I, when we did get weighed yesterday, I am sitting about five kilos heavier than like I normally would. I would say it's like COVID kilos and it's not an issue, um, but I probably do feel better when I'm at that weight pre this COVID kilos. Um, so yeah, it was like actually really interesting. So I am actually gonna track my calories for a bit, but more, more importantly, my carbohydrate intake, like my macros um, and like kind of manipulate them a bit more. So like harder sessions, high carb days, whatever, and just see how it goes and see how it all affects everything. Um, and I think it's good, like I'm gonna use this period of like kind of off season, whatever, to just kind of get to know my body. I actually came off the contraceptive pill after 12 years of being on it. Um, I'm also, I was on the mini pill because I um, can't have the combined pill due to 
hemiplegic migraines, I think it's called, but I'm basically more at risk of a stroke or blood clot. So I've always been, well, haven't always, but I've been on the um, combined pill, not the combined pill, <laughs> for God's sake, I can't even talk. I've been on the progestion only pill for like the last six years of the 12 years I've been on the pill and you don't get a period at all on it. So I've been off the pill now three weeks and my period hasn't come back yet, but I've been told by my good and expert friend, Rena McGregor, that it'll probably take a few months um, and then it'll probably be like not that normal for a while. So then after like six to eight weeks, I'm gonna get my bloods done um, just to see where I'm at with everything, check everything's working fine. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna actually keep track of everything, like my weight fluctuations, my sleep, which I do anyway with my aura ring, um, my periods, and how that affects training and everything. So yeah, I've never really been one for data, but maybe I'm gonna be a data geek from now on. Um, but I will jump back on here after I've had my call with Richard, um, or do a separate video, I'll see, um, to fill in with anything else that was of interest from it. But it was really good, I'll show you. I actually haven't looked what he's sent over yet, which is terrible. Um, but he obviously spoke me through it. Um, when I was there, so good, like so interesting, really good setup. It's in St. Paul's if anyone's in London and it was um, the performance lab. So like, I don't really, is it GDPR? Show my, that's a ridiculous thing to say. But anyway, this is kind of what it looks like, all the data. So loads and loads of stuff. I actually haven't gone through it at all, but he's gonna take me through it on, um, on Tuesday, so yeah. That was good, and I just had a nice run. Um, and I did go to physio on Monday. I went to see Aidan, who is the Irish physio on Instagram. He is like the best physio, he's so good. Um, just because I had like, I can't remember if I've told you all this on this vlog, I'm sorry if I have. I had a little niggle on the back of my knee, not when I'm run, but after I run, since my ultra about a month ago, um, the one I didn't film. Um, but yeah, it seems to be better, it's just slightly irritated, so. Yeah, I'm on the mend. It's all good. And I will see you probably at the weekend.